Thanks for staying with us. A common problem for parents getting children to do their chores. We have licensed pastoral counselor Dr. James Stowell with us today with a few hints to help all you parents getting started on the journey of turning your dependent children into independent adults. I know a lot of adults that need this advice as well. <laughs> so thank you for you being go. here, Dr. Stowell. <laughs> How are you doing? Doing great. Good to be here. You're back from vacation. Thank you. You're fresh faced and ready to go. Got a little sun, just a little. Well, no. you have to if you go to yeah. Florida. There you, you go. have that tan. All right. Chores. Why is it so important that we start giving, I say our kids, I'm just going to collectively <laughs> own everybody's children out there, but that we start giving them responsibility and how does that help them in that process of actually becoming more adult-like? Totally. Um, it helps them because you don't want somebody who's 18, 20 years old who doesn't do anything. And so how do you get from one, as you were saying earlier, to 18? and age-appropriate chores for, for every age. Because that's your goal. Your goal is independent adults. And, um, and so there are steps along the way. So when doing that, do you feel like that it's important to give them a reward for chores? Or is it just kind of like, hey, this is what you need to do? As a well, partner? I agree with the idea that um, uh, you want to first get everybody on the same page. Okay. So kind of uh, gather the family together, get a whiteboard or paper, and just brainstorm what all has to be done around You're here. You're calling in, a family meeting. Yeah. A family sure. meeting in order to accomplish everything that has to be done. And then most of the children and most of the ages will get it. There's no way mom can do all of this, right. and that's not fair. And so we get it all up there. And then um, Montessori um, schools have a great guideline about what chores are appropriate for each age. And so from, from two and threes to fours and fives to six and seven, eight and nine, and then 10, 11, and 12 and up, each have what's appropriate for them. And all of that is stuff that we tend to do for them. Oh. And they need to be doing for themselves. So uh, you talked about that your kids have been doing it since they were one and two. What are kids doing at one and two? I see them cry. <laughs> oh, I know. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's about teaching. Parenting is teaching. And, and that's what the word discipline means. It means teaching. It doesn't mean punishment. And so having rewards uh, that are appropriate for every age um, as you go through that. So, so first of all, think about what, um, what it costs you to have each one of those children. And then budget that much money for their salary. Yes. And then have accountability so that every day they check it off the list and then every week they get paid. So you're basically saying you're kind of grouping chores into an entire responsibility thing, not so much as taking out the trash. So oh, it, it is this. those things. Those are things that have to be done in order for the family to function. Sure. So why but not? But a two-year-old's not going to do that. A two-year-old's going to do things on a two-year-old level. So a two-year-old, for example, will put the toys back in the box. Okay, exactly. there you go. That's appropriate for a two-year-old, you know. Um, help set the table. Fold a dish rag. You yeah. know, it's just really cool things that, that help them to feel competent. You don't give them uh, tasks that are beyond their ability. Gotcha. That makes sense now. So those are, we just wanted to be lay it out. Because for me to hear, I'm like, oh, well, my two-year-old is going to be taking the trash out and doing the dishes. Get on it. So it's, it's kind of just building that up in steps. Building so that it up in steps. So by the time they're a teenager, it's, that's, that's how by it is. By the time they're a teenager, they really are able to do almost everything in the house. And so it just doesn't make any sense uh, for the parent to be doing for the children. Take the time to teach yes. and to encourage and to reward all along the way. I find that, that a lot of parents do it just because they get frustrated. So right. they do it themselves. And yeah. then it's not teaching the children anything. That's so. easier. But what are you teaching? You're exactly. teaching that somebody else will do this for you. And so that's not, that's not what you want. No, definitely Good not. advice. Well, you are always very, very helpful. You have a workshop coming up that's also very helpful on another end of the spectrum. I'm just going to let you jump into that. Well, thank you, because if you are divorced or separated, you're still co-parenting if you have children. And so uh, beginning to talk about what that's all about comes up on Thursday nights starting February 13th at Forks of Elkhorn Church. Uh, from 7 to 9 p.m. It's our 
a twice a year divorce recovery workshop, seven sessions, and the church offers it free to the community. Oh, that's great. And it's quite a gift, and it includes both education and a support group. That's amazing and free. Where, where do we find more information about this and so, you, Dr. Stillwell? Both on the Forks of Elkhorn page and also on my uh, page, uh, drjamesstillwell.com. Well, we appreciate you being here. Great advice, as always. Thank you so much. Thank Stay you. with us. We have more midday after the break.